Okay, is microphone working? It is. Yeah, yeah, except the cookies. Let's just double check. Do we have decent sound? Close enough. Spilt my drink. Drink is saved. So let's try and get as much of this done as we can. A bit of a later start than normal. I I think I might actually buy extras for once. Because this is the last level. So there's going to be a lot more fights, I imagine. The glow of the dark sun fades away and the sleeping girls regain consciousness. The mounting calls to our three protagonists. Their individual mysteries await resolution. I'm not sick anymore. 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 I can see things that no one else can. Ever since my family died. Images of death that only I could see. I could feel them surrounding me. And since then, death has been 
tukang masak. That's how I knew where I needed to go. I've been standing at this precipice. Thinking about whether I should take this final step. And so it begins, the doors open. Gone in the water, it's calling me, it's waiting for me, I must go. My diary, record my thoughts, dreams, things I could see in here. In the end, he still didn't believe me. I dreamt of a shrine maiden. Of becoming a shrine maiden. She lifted her blindfold and glanced at a dying man, then covered her eyes and wept. I didn't cry. I didn't even cry when Hisoka stopped me from jumping. Hisoka cried though. I wonder when I last cried. As a child I used to cry at the sunset. Now when I see the sunset I just stare, transfixed. It feels like I'm melting away, being called to the other side. A nice weird mist going through the house. I thought I found you, but I'm lost. I thought I could take you, but you fell. Didn't actually want to touch her. I wanted to grab the thing off the floor, but you know what? That's fine. <laughs> oh, shit. Hi, Jazzy. <laughs> Jazzy's power is over Jazzy 9000. You've gone from really energetic fighting game with Goku and the lads to, oh god, please don't kill me, the ghosts are going to eat my face. Soto's Journal 6. I dreamt of a river. It was a river of death and we had to cross it. Believe me too, Sunday. Shush, sleepy lady. I'm trying to read. Everyone fought the current until one by one they grew weary and were swept away. I couldn't save them. In the end I was swept away alone. Everyone was fighting against the current, moving as one. I felt relieved that we were all connected and then I woke up. The current will sweep you away. When I touched Yuri on that cliff, I saw her anguish, her survivor's guilt, her fixation with death, her hell sheeper, and her hesitation to chase it. Maybe I'm drawn to Yuri. 
I'm not even going to question that sentence. And she to me, because we're both fighting against the current. The character's name is Yuri. It makes it a lot less strange to see that as a sentence. Ooh. You can take photos of them. Here. I'll leave you to your father. We're going to do the last rounds of the antique store before we go and find our fate at the mountain. At least we managed to find Miu's mother in the end. So we found one survivor. We did also find out that Ryu is actually a girl. It took us 13 chapters until the game actually used she in a sentence. plans to get married anytime soon, do you? Married? I guess not. I'm sorry. That was too personal. I'd like to keep things between us just as they are. The relationship we have now. I like the ambiguity. Right, that's everyone. Photos taken, even though it doesn't seem to do anything apart from just being a thing you can do. We have touched the two people of importance. And seen the visions. I suppose it's time to read this and then go to the mountain. They say on Mount Akami, this shadow spring is here, but it is on the other side. It's a curious saying. It must mean the spring is both of this world and yet not of this world. The black water flows from the shadow spring. Within it lies the underworld itself. For centuries the shrine maidens have protected the shadow spring, believing it to be a bridge between worlds. Tales abound of such bridges. 
Are there people all over the country protecting those bridges as Mount Akami does by drowning shrine maidens? Perhaps Osei Kurosara, the last immortal flower, was one such sacrifice. And off we go to find our fate. The Shadow Spring is here. But it is on the other side. I'm assuming we go straight to the station and go up. I know there's probably a lot of things I can pick up, like more medicine and stuff on the way, but I'm not even attempting to 100% this game. But more film on the last level seems like it'll be smart. Never mind. Can't pick any more up anyway. Driver's light in the compartment is glowing. Okay. Are we not using the train to go up? Or am I missing something? I don't think we're going up by the train this time. That's interesting. Be a parking lot down there. Okay. So back to the hot springs and then to one of the other other routes I suppose. And again I suppose middle one's probably the most likely considering that's where the ghost appeared. Yep, and we actually have a trace to tell us where we're going on this, so we're definitely in the right place this time. I don't think we've been up this path since like chapter 2 or chapter 3.
I love when they do these double ghost fights on a really thin area. Come on. I just want to finish the game. We're barely even into the last level yet. Oh good, one of them's gone. Definitely gonna need the medicine. Oh, my drop something. Of course. I'm not sure why we suddenly have another ghost appear when we've killed two. Game has no chill for the last level.
if there's one thing that I'm not a fan of with this game, it's the fact that it did start throwing a few too many enemies near the end in the past couple of chapters. Near the start, they were often enough that they were actually spooky. They were in decent locations. And there was a nice bit of tension between the actual fights. So it, it took a while for anything to happen. So when it did happen, it was good to break the tension. The past three, maybe four chapters, it's been a little bit much. So there's been no tension. The most tension I've had was, please don't throw things at me while I'm in this knee-deep water and can't run properly. And then, lo and behold, they would spawn things in whilst I was in the knee-high water. But other than that, the game's been decent. Not sure if I'd say it was better than Crimson Butterfly, but it has been a while since I've played that one. Where are we going? Up there. I never did get to play the one on the Wii because I never owned a Wii, but the one that I thought was a new one coming out in March is apparently just a remake of the Wii game. So, it might be okay. I mean, this was a port, and it's come out relatively decent. I've not had any bugs with it, unlike a lot of ports. Controls can be a bit janky at times, but that's just normal for these games. But the Wii one used to use motion controls for the camera. And there's a part of me that's kind of dreading if they would have tried making it so that they used the gyroscope in the PlayStation controller or whatever to act as the motion control so I'm a bit concerned about that but we'll see we've got a couple of months water design journal 5 at first the glance is done with a touch or an embrace by the end thoughts can be taken unto oneself with a look all people have secrets. Being glanced allows them to return the water to the water in peace without secrets or suffering. Oh, thanks for the follow. Let's... I can see you as well. You are fixated with death. You are afraid of being alone. I shall embrace you. Come to me. And now near the end of the game we're finding out that the glance is also the touch, which is also the thing we have seen Yuri and Miyu being able to do like the entire game so far. You can wait. Ah, good, good day to you too. Okay, now that I have red chat, I will continue to Take photos of you. Where? What? 
that is the second time in the past two chapters that a ghost has appeared and then just randomly disappeared without actually dying after maybe like one photo I was saying earlier a bit ago I don't think I've had any bugs I don't know if that's a bug or if it's just meant to be a thing to keep you on your toes that you think the ghost isn't dead but maybe it will turn up again in a couple of seconds I don't know Is that more camera film of the one we've been using? No, it isn't. Um, let's swap. Oh, hello, um, Porchman. Been a while since we've seen you in combat. Speaking of camera points, what have we got left? Okay, not enough for those. And the only one that I use is already maxed out. So, maybe we'll get enough to do the a sensor upgrade before the end of the level but it's the last chapter so is it going to actually be that useful might remind me probably going through the entire building to get to the forest behind. Is they're making us go through all of the places we've already been in the last chapter as a reminder of this is where you've come. You've been through all these lovely places. Um where are we going? Was that we couldn't go that way, I thought we could. Unless things have shifted around since we last came here. 
possible. Ghosts do like to rearrange the furniture a bit. Should be outside. Yep. That was quick. Glad I started using the good film. Right. Buddha Shrine next. We've never been on this path. We've never been on this path before. Because there's a big chunk missing. Unless it goes underground, maybe. But I don't remember it. Is there something here? No, no, we just haven't been here before. Okay. Oh, there's loads of them behind me. Oh, can they revive each other? I 
think they can. I think they can relight the flame on each other and have it actually revive them. And I only just noticed that on the last mission. That's a really neat little mechanic that I never even noticed. Whenever a pillar crumbles, whenever a shrine maiden falls, the rest of us, bound by water, must take on those emotions. I have glanced so many deaths. The pain is overflowing. The final thoughts of the dead whirl like a maelstrom. I cannot handle any more. My heart has reached its limit. device which builds pictures that look perfectly real. I hear that the pictures it paints are so lifelike, you can even see what is in a person's heart. Now, if that's Ren, then what I thought was correct. I wish we could stay here in the old man. Yep, so he had met the girl when he was a kid and just completely forgot about it. Must have passed out. This mist isn't a good sign. Is Ruby okay? Well, this was the study. Ren. No, you lied. Not you.
Storeroom, office, store. Storeroom. Okay, so our study is not here because this is not our building. So I wonder if we just have to leave. Things you're looking for is in the study, what does it mean? Okay, so yep, we've gone to his study. Use journal. Mr. Hojo won't show me. I can't do anything about that, but I'm fine. I'm fine with it. The more I say that, the more I want to cry. The tears wash me clean. Clean on my cringy possessiveness, my jealousy, my desire to give in to him. He doesn't have to choose me. I just want to be at his side for as long as he'll let me. He'll grow used, so used to me that I'll become invisible to him. Like water, I will vanish. I'll become transparent and colourless. Number of skills in this box when I found it. Must mean it belonged to Dr. Asa. Looks like there's something else inside. Is this hair? That girl in my dreams, the one I met in the Shrine of Dolls, this ribbon looks like hers. There's a notebook under the hair. This is the original owner of the box. Did Dr. Aso write this? How long has it been since I found it? That ceremony, was it real? If not, then what is this hair? My memories are hazy. I was caught up in the passion of the ceremony. I brought down the blade, then darkness. I made a promise to find that girl and bring her this token. I feel like she's waiting, even though it's been longer than I care to think about. Even at my age, no, because of my age, that innocent promise we made weighs heavily on me. An un a forgotten promise, one that cannot be unmade. Where can I possibly take this token that the f promise might be fulfilled? Ah, okay, so in the dream, it wasn't us oh, as Ren. With the little girl, it was this Dr. Aso person. Must that's why he, that's saying about him doing the ceremony. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Damn, I was wrong about him being around all this time. This was left by Dr. Aso, then the dream of the ritual was a memory of his. That girl, she's waiting for the person she gave this lock of hair to for Dr. Aso. What did he see on Mount Akami? And how is it related to current events? This photograph and the lack of the lock of hair might lead to answers I seek. Um, nothing else to pick up in here, so off to the springs again we go. This is Dr. Aso, only person who left Mount Akami alive. What was he doing here and what did he take pictures of? If I try photographing what he's looking at, I might find some clues. Path leading up the mountain. The place used to be called Maiden Grove, where pilgrims chose the Shrine Maiden to accompany them. The Shrine Maiden who would oversee their demise. So Dr. Aso's notes. The Shrine Maiden's Grove. 
I received a special invitation to visit this mountain where only people who return to the water are allowed to go. The mountain, whence none return alive, this mountain has a unique custom. They believe water to be holy. The people here yearn for a proper death. People come here chanting about wanting to be the water. They are so sincere. I think I'm starting to believe them. So many people with the same belief. If this is carried on through the generations, perhaps their prayers will be answered. Luckily it's not throwing the two maidens at us again. Pool of purification. Pilgrims would undergo a rite of purification here. Soaking in these waters would make them one with the mountain and bring them close to the world of the dead. The shrine maidens always kept their raven black hair soaked. They were known as maidens of black water. More records of Dr. Racer. Perhaps he visited the mountain to photos. The air is so clean here. Calm, pure water flows. And the mist is full of vital energy. Everything here has an aura. In the woods, one can feel not only the animals and trees, but the water itself has energy. I understand now. The water's alive. We are born from water, and to water we, we return. The water connects us all. The Shrine Maidens with their well-honed senses perceive this aura, and lead the people to a proper death. Here in this place, I am not alone. Into the forest again. The path to the shrine of dolls. Bridge.
to the Shrine of Dolls we go. Girl with white hair. Gave a token to Dr. Acer when he was a boy and later came to this mountain. There she waited for him to come back to her, guided by the token. What did Dr. Aso see on the mountain? The mountain reminds me of the time I spent on Mouth Kagaroi in my youth. Back then I believed without a doubt in an invisible world. When did I stop, and why? This mountain air has awoken a long forgotten memory. I was dozing under a tree, and dreamt of that ceremony. I received something that day in my dream, in my past. Was it a dream? Or did that really happen? wasn't even inside the door for like oh please don't with the creepy dolls not this time of night not again Channel, did the white haired girl eat this? I'm not like the others. My hair and eyes make me special. I was told I wouldn't live long. That I wouldn't even live to be seven years old. They all hid from me, like they might catch something. Only, he didn't run. When we played hide and seek, we hid together in our secret place. No one could find us there. Why did we ever leave? The first time I cried was when I had to leave that place. The ceremony is tomorrow. We we'll have to go to the back again. shelf and I should be in the garden Here we go that girl left this here does she have some connection to Dr. Aso? At the mountain on Mount Kagaroi, I took a lock. I cut a lock of my hair as a token and as, as a farewell. I fell once. I thought I was dead, but I wasn't. I survived. When I opened my eyes, he was there. I am here because of him. That's why I chose him. On Mount Kagaroi, girls chosen to be pillars can pick their partner. 
I'll be placed in a box and be taken to the mountain. We will exchange vows and be bound together for eternity. Definitely making sure to pick up these extra healing healing items because I feel if going through one of those ones. Oh are we we're not at maximum. Why did that only give us one? Deep picker. Normally gives us two. Ooh, so we're going off the path for this one. To the Forbidden Valley. Healing, thank you. Oh, come on, when it's not that hard to walk in water this depth, not unless it's treacle. Gonna spend those on the second attack range for this for his camera. Um, do we need where are we heading? Are we this way? No, this way. Game. Game. Please do not tell me you've crashed. Please tell me this is just a really weirdly long loading sequence. Because this game doesn't have, well, it has auto save, so we might have just saved before we come through here. Maybe.
it's not doing anything. It's not saying it's broken. Is my computer just having a fit? It might be. Okay. Game, please. Give you a few more seconds to, to wake up. But if not, I'm going to have to restart you. I think we're going to have to restart it. Yep, I guess we're restarting. End task. Please tell me you had a decent place where it last saved. Load game. Yep, there's one for an episode in progress. Please resume. Oh, he put us at the start of his protection. Oh, God. Game, why? Okay, yeah, we've read all of this. This would be a, bit, a little bit quicker to get back to where we were because we don't have to read anything. We can just pick things up and skip through it. Pick it up, we've read this already, so let's just skip through. Okay.
at least we kind of know where we're heading, so it's not going to be too much of a problem. Not far now, I think, from where we left off, but it crashed. Nope, we're not. We've still got an entire section to go through. Also, let's move that mouse off the screen. Try and at least pretend we're professionals. This was health, we're going to want it. photo with him again Again, we read it, so don't need to go through again. No, oh. it didn't throw the spooky ghost girl. Well, at us this time. Okay, and that's the bit we've gone through. So it was up. 
and you know that healing item it was uh, wasn't worth it <laughs> weren't here last time that's weird Right, that's her done. I wonder if there's like a timing thing that works out randomly what's going to appear because the time before we did this, when on the run that it crashed, we had a doll appear in the Shrine of Dolls and no attack in this area. Whereas this time round, there was no doll in the Shrine of Dolls. But we did have a Maiden attack. This is where it crashed before. Oh, thank God for that. The black screen lasted a, f a few milliseconds so long that it started to make me think it had died again. And it was a save point there as well. I can't believe that. That was a wo Did I miss a ghost or something then? I think I might have missed a ghost. I can't hold any more of that one, that's fine.
how long is this section? That's interesting. There are actually good and bad endings for the characters in this. We end up going back and controlling Miu. And then Miu has an option of a good and a bad ending. Who is taking photos? But I think, as much as I really wanted to finish this tonight, it's half past midnight and we're not even halfway. We've literally got into the... For this, to finish this up, I've been using a, a walkthrough just to have an idea of how far through I am. So I can check it and go, okay, this step is at this point. We're about halfway through and so on. And literally, we have just gone on to page three or four for this chapter. So we're only halfway through and we've been going for an hour and a half. So I have a horrible feeling that this is going to take a long time to get through. So since we've not long had a save point, I think it's probably a good idea to end there. Just so we know that, yeah, last save was four minutes ago. Four minutes is nothing, that's fine. But yeah, we've been going for like an hour and a half, but this stage we've been going for 45 minutes, and that I feel that's partly because of that crash, which reset a bunch of our progress, and we had to do it again. It's annoying, we could have got a, sort of another quarter of the way through, if not for that crash. But never mind, never mind. Computer B, what computer B? Sometimes it has issues. Sometimes crashes occur. And so for now, saying that, I'll call it quits for the night and go to bed and sleep because I have work in the morning. And then hopefully we can actually finish the game tomorrow night instead. I'm gonna completely blame Finfei for this one because I was too busy watching his stream to I was gonna start streaming earlier than normal, but can't not watch Finn. He's too good a lad. But anyway, thanks for watching. Almost at the end, you can almost feel it. So let's get that finished tomorrow. We can move on to a new game. Or art or something. Anything that's not ghost related would be wonderful. So, I'll bid you a farewell for the night. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. And bye bye.